A disturbing crime trend is happening across the country. It starts with women flirting with men at bars or clubs and then ends with the men losing a significant amount of their money and some of their belongings. News Nation's Brian Enton is live in Fort Lauderdale tonight with more on this story. Brian, this sounds a lot more like it's out of a movie plot. Yeah, Marty, these victim stories uh, are really wild. We're right here in downtown Fort Lauderdale. These are the kinds of areas where these crimes are happening, sort of busy, bustling areas with a busy bar and club scene. The victims say uh, they think these women are flirting with them, but the next thing they know, they pass out, and then their valuables are gone. In party cities up and down the coast of Florida, like Delray Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, and Miami, a disturbing new crime trend. Women picking up, then drugging and robbing men. When you woke up and saw the woman in your apartment, what did you think? Uh, I was horrified. I was on my futon in my apartment, and there was a woman basically looting my apartment. This 24-year-old is in dental school and went out to party with friends at this downtown Fort Lauderdale bar. He doesn't want his full face shown, but says all he remembers is waking up and his wallet and phone were gone. The women drained his bank accounts and even opened a credit card in his name. How confident are you that they drugged you? No, 100 percent. I've never felt like that before in my life. I mean, I've gone over it so many times and just like never had a problem going to a bar and getting a drink and getting an Uber home. Police also investigating a similar case this weekend at the Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, where three men say they were drugged. The women reportedly stole a Rolex, gold chain, and $5,000 in cash. And it's not just women robbing men, sometimes it's even men dressed as women. This suspect now behind bars. Police say for months this person trolled Miami hotspots driving high end exotic cars, offering men rides, but then drugging and robbing them. We're seeing more and more men becoming victims, and they're becoming victims because men are gullible. And when I say they're gullible, they're flattered if an individual, particularly a woman, an attractive woman, comes up to them, starts to engage in a conversation. It's happened recently in Las Vegas, too. 23-year-old Wendy Jones busted for drugging men and stealing fancy watches at popular hotels and casinos. Police and this victim say men need to have their guard up. I think it's really kind of shattered my sense of security is, you know, I'm, I'm a guy. I can go to a bar and, and get a drink with a friend and, and not have to worry about too much. Um, I just don't think that's true anymore. And what's so crazy to think about is just how much access these women can get once they get into the men's cell phones. When the men pass out, they use the phone and the face ID to get in, and then they have access uh, to the bank accounts and Venmo and Cash App and everything you can think of. Uh, police say they believe there are more men victims out there, but many of them are just embarrassed to come forward. Marty.